I'm hosting a dinner party tomorrow night, and I'd like you to join us. I mean, there'll be other guests there. People who just haven't received a fair shake in life. Tonight on The Nightly Chill, we take a look at Would You Rather, in which Brittany Snow plays a woman in desperate need of money to save her ill brother. But when a mysterious man offers her and several others the opportunity to earn this money by participating in a sadistic series of escalating dares, they soon discover that failure brings with it certain death. I'm Cinematico Magnifico of AmoralCrackpot.com, and the bottom line regarding Would You Rather is that it's a promising concept that may have been better realized with a more experienced director at the helm. Whereas similar movies are simply interested in killing off characters in creative ways, often for the sake of simply grossing out the audience and very little else, Would You Rather feels as if it strives to be something more, something better. However, director David Guy Levy's work here proves that he simply isn't quite ready to handle such material. Watching the movie's few morally upstanding characters struggle to engage in violent behavior is a powerful thing to watch, and at times, watching the more morally great characters struggle with their decisions is just as entertaining. However, it's when the movie places characters in a no-win situation, where they seem to be punished for simply participating in a game that they had no details about until after they were in too deep, that things begin to go from enjoyable to simply bad. Just as the movie presents a twisted introspective ride into the darker parts of the human soul, showcasing how deep into hell desperate souls can and will go to resolve some legitimately sympathetic issues, we are soon forced to watch people harm themselves and others in gruesome fashion solely for the entertainment of a sadistic, bored man. At this point, any and all pretenses of social commentary are abandoned, which is a shame given how good the first half of the movie is at balancing such things with well-earned tension and anxiety. And while it may have been possible to redeem the movie by its conclusion, Levy doesn't quite manage to do so, resulting in some final moments that are almost as drastic a shift in tone and style. Shifts in tone aside, Levy also never fully capitalizes on any particular moment thanks to fairly by-the-numbers camera work and forgettable performances. While this isn't quite as noticeable in the first half of the movie, where the stakes are still fairly low, it becomes far too noticeable once the tasks assigned become more extreme, such as when a participant is forced to hold a large firecracker in his closed fist. Slow cuts and long shots framed too far from the action and actors result in moments that should otherwise be agonizing to watch feeling rather dull. These problems aside, Would You Rather is still more than watchable and even enjoyable from beginning to end. That said, I do suspect that come the second half of the movie, many viewers will be left wishing that, like the characters in the movie, they had declined to participate. You can follow Amoral Crackpot on Facebook and Twitter, and also be sure to leave any questions, comments, and suggestions for future reviews in the comments section below, and maybe discuss today's movie at greater length. Tomorrow night on The Nightly Chill, we take a look at the classic Twilight Zone episode, The Lateness of the Hour, in which a young woman becomes concerned with her elderly parents' over-reliance on their robot servants. But until then, I'm gonna make like a tree, and get out of here.